Well, it took me a little bit to get cleaned up and set up here this morning, but I've got these five logs here. First one I got on the mill here is a frozen, frozen to the bone. You can hear the thunk on it when you, when you move it around. It just, you can tell it's frozen. A nice ash log. I've got about 12 inches across on the small end. This big end up here has a bit of a wide to it. It's about the same because it's the log itself is only about four foot, four foot nine or so. So it's about 12 inches round and just shy of five foot long. What I'm going to do with this log, I'm going to cut it down into squares. I think what I'll do is I'll quarter it. I'm going to skin the top. I'm going to make a cant out of it. I think that's what I'll do. I'll cut. I'll cut all four sides and make it square and I'll see how much I've got if I've got about I'm looking for about eight inches square if I can get a little bit more than that if I can get nine inches square it'd be fine by me I think what I'll do is I'll just square it up and then I'll cut it in half one way and then flip it and cut it in half the other way and that'll give me four equal sections and uh, I'm going to take those out, let them dry. I think I'm going to attempt to make some baseball bats on the lathe. So that's what I'm going to do with this one. I'll cut this up and we'll see what it looks like when I'm done.
Okay, so what I got there is four of them there. They're all roughly three and a half across. One's, this, these sides a little bit bigger, but three and three quarters fine. I'm gonna put them on the lathe, and I'm gonna spin them down, make them into baseball bats. What I think I'll do is I'll take these into the garage, and I'll dry them. There's a little bit of tension in this wood, so I'm not sure how it's going to work out. When I cut this, you could see that it, it wanted to spring out. You can see this is just one cut here, and the cut doesn't even line up from one end to the other. The board wanted to open up. It doesn't bother me because I'm going to put these on the lathe and spin them, so whatever happens with them, happens with them. This is just something to experiment with a little bit. I wanted to take and just cut this log down to some 4x4s and put them in the garage and let them dry for a while and eventually I think I'll take them and put them on the lathe and spin them down just to see what they see what kind of baseball bats we can make it'll be a nice little lathe project later that's all I've got for today I'm just gonna take these uh, three and a half by three and a half baseball bat blanks and put them in the garage and let them dry out and another day we'll spin them down and see if we can make a baseball bat in a lathe so I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time